and welcome to Sugar Hiccups. Today I have a new planner. This planner is by Freedom Mastery right here and it is a, a law of attraction planner. It says be the energy you want to attract. For those of you who follow my channel you know I every year I get a Freedom Mastery planner and this year I had gotten this one and I've already done a video on it so you can check it out. This particular planner is basically like all the planners I've gotten for the past few years. It's the same shape, it's bound. Um, this is a different color. This is the rose gold. If you can look on the sides you can see how beautiful the rose gold is there. It has a dream catcher cover with the third eye. It comes with a latch to keep it closed and a pin holder. What's also nice about this particular one is, oh my goodness, it just, <laughs> it just feels so good. But it also comes with a bookmark with the beautiful rose gold and a very light gray satin and bookmarks, which is a light gray and a rose gold satin. So I am super excited to use this planner this year, but as I was looking on the Freedom Mastery site, because I just love looking, I noticed they had something new. They had another planner, but it was totally different. The insides are basically the same, but it's how it's constructed. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I could not resist, I could not resist. I had to go for it. Let's take a look at it. Wow. So <laughs> they have a new cover, which is this beautiful, beautiful butterfly with the moons, and it is spiral. And the spiral is in, looks like a rose gold. This is gorgeous. So this is bound completely different. Oh, wow. And they have tabs. Okay, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. What is this? So these look like some inserts. So we'll get to this later. This is exciting. It's got the, the rose gold there, too. This feels a little bit more leathery than the other. The other one's leathery, too, but something about this, this is butter soft. Butter, butter soft. Look at how beautiful. So there's the Freedom Mastery symbol. I love this spiral. Manifestation Planner. Can you see the stars and the moons, how they shimmer? This is just gorgeous. This is one of the new colors for this year. It's called Vanilla. I had tried to get my other planner in vanilla, but they were all sold out like in that day. I don't know how that happened because I had been watching the site forever and this one was not up. But I'm glad that it was not available. Then I would have gotten this in the vanilla and would have missed out on the spiral. And aside from that, I absolutely love, absolutely love the Dreamcatcher. This is such a great book. Here's the back of this one where it says Freedom Mastery. And I just showed you the back of this one. So they're both spectacular. They're both beautiful. I'm super, <laughs> I'm so glad I got them both. They are just gorgeous. I have to figure out how I'm going to use these two. So that's going to be fun. I'm not quite sure, but I've got some really good ideas. So here is the spiral. It's nice and wide and beautiful. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so here are my goodies. I have calendar stickers. Here's some 2000. 22. Here's finance, holiday, meditation, pet, spa, dinner, old fashioned important call, medicines, vitamins, doctors, clean. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Okay. Shopping list, urgent, delicate, important. I am grateful for my victories. And here are some cute little messages. Do awesome things. I'm definitely going to put that in here. Oh, here is a book on 
Law of Attraction Secrets, Eight Proven Steps to Manifesting Your Dream Life. That's nice. Okay, so this does not have a bookmark, the satin ribbons, or any of that. But it does have these tabs. This is new. This is great because you can go from January and just do your tabs. I love, love, love the new tabs. Okay, so here is a free gift. This sort of looks like the bookmark, but it's in here. So get a free video mini course with all the tips. So I guess I'll read about that to see how I can get that. So here on the front page, Frederick Talon, I guess who is the maker of Freedom Mastery, he has some quotes to help you stay positive. So that's nice. On the first page, you have your life statement, your mission statement, and who the book belongs to. Now before you write this in, there is a map that will help you fill in these two items. But you need to do the map because it helps you zero in on your life statement and your mission statement. So go ahead and put your name in. So you can have different pages if you have notes that you're thinking about when you read them. That may help, or you could do whatever you want there. Okay, so here's the map, and it starts off with number one, awareness and self-discovery. To do this, you need to go to page 12 and 13. And this is awareness and self-discovery. For instance, how do I want to grow? Where am I going? How do I want to be remembered? What is the most important thing in my life? When you turn to this page, do not start filling this out. Please go ahead and read what's here. That will help you fill this out and will help you with the mission statements. And so let's say you want to work on your vision board and your life statement. So you have pages 20, 21, and 23. Here is page 23 and then 20 and 21. So you can actually put your vision board here and work on that throughout the year. You don't have to do everything at one time. I mean, I cannot do my vision board just in one sitting because through the year, I may think of something else I wanna add or what I was thinking at the beginning of the year, if I didn't put it down, maybe wasn't as important as I thought. So remember, when you do your planner, do what feels right and when it feels right. Do not feel pressured or then you will snowball and may not do exactly the way you wanted or you may not do it at all. So just take your time, take all year, decide what you want to do, when you want to do it, how you want to do it. There are no rules. This is yours. And it's actually just a key to help. It's just a key to help you do things that you've been maybe struggling with or hoping for or you're already doing. It just helps guide you. So here we go. So this is the roadmap. And we talked about how you can go and feel good, manifest, take action, etc. And you can check off if you've done something here. That's, I don't think that was on the other one. So here we have goal setting, and then we have create harmony on all levels. So you can create a mind map here and put different things for personal growth, spiritual, career and business. Or say you don't want to work on career and business. And here is a page on your journey, your spiritual, your personal development, your relationship, career, business, financial, health, and free time and family. These color blocks are all coordinated throughout this. So if it says here, how will I make it happen? Write down your number one goal for each area of your life for this year and how you plan to make it happen. See this color here, this darker purple? That would be your spiritual. The financial would be the, the grapefruit pink. Down here, it would be I believe free time 
and family. And the same colors here. Habits I want to change and learn to achieve my goals. So you have old habits you might want to unlearn and new habits you might want to master. Skills I want to master. How and from whom can I learn these? So say if your grandmother's a really good cook and, and you sort of struggle in that department, you may want to say just focus on one of her recipes. Like say she makes fantastic macaroni and cheese. You might write make macaroni and cheese. How and from whom can I learn this? Grandma, because it's so good. This is interesting here. You have your three month goal, your one year goal, your three year goal, and your lifetime goals. Those are, that's pretty tall order. But let's say you've just decided that you wanted to maybe buy a house. In these next few years, it's not possible. So that might be a lifetime goal or a three year goal and you would put things on first why I want to have a home so I don't pay a lot of rent. I want to have a garden and I want to watch it grow. Those are your whys. And then the goal is to have the house and the reward you could say, you know, after you get your house, the reward is just a feeling of your home or a welcome home mat that says welcome home. That would be really cute. And then here are the one year goals because this is again basically for this year oh look at this this is new here's january here is a beautiful affirmation list and here are ideas and notes so if you're thinking about january and you've got some things you need to be thinking about or some inspiration you can put it here then you have your affirmation And then you have another blank sheet of paper. And now you have your monthly in front of you. So on your monthly, you have goal for January. So if you have one particular goal in January, that would go here and the reward if achieved. So let's say your goal in January was, mine should be take down <laughs> the Christmas tree because sometimes our Christmas tree stays for way too long. Let's just pretend <laughs> that it's that it is the Christmas tree that you need to take down. That is the one goal for January. So the reward could be as soon as the Christmas tree is taken down, you could splurge and have fresh flowers on your kitchen counter. So that would be nice because you'd replace the tree, which is, I don't know about you guys, but when our tree comes down, it looks so empty. It looks so empty. But then after about a week, it looks so clean. So... <laughs> So I don't know. So that's what, that's one thing you could do. Okay. The feel good intention for January would be, I would feel good because my house was going to be <laughs> feeling cleaner and the skills and habits to learn. You could do anything from, if you want to learn to crochet or your habit, if say you don't make your bed and you swear that in January, you're going to make your bed every day. So the habit to learn would be to definitely make that bed. Here is the month with New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So you could put out different things, like if it was your birthday, you could put it there. Or if you knew you had to go to a conference. Or if your child had an important event at school. Whatever you do to fill up your calendar. Over here, you have desired goals for this month. Say you want to clean out that drawer. You know that drawer in the kitchen? It really doesn't have a name, but it has every single thing in it that you don't even know how you accumulated them, like batteries that you don't know are actually working or not, rubber bands, pins that don't work, pins that haven't been opened yet, receipts, all kinds of things. Well, that drawer would be a good desired goal to clean out for the beginning of January. Just the pure satisfaction of knowing that that drawer is in order. The action steps to take, one, get a large garbage bag, two, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Here on every month and I think on every week, yes, they give you this area and on this area you can list gratitude. You can do a flow chart, a mind map. You can just make a list. You can just have a picture that inspires you. Anything you want. It's your free space. I love free space. 
Love it. So there it is. Okay. It goes on for the weeks of January. And then when you get to the end of January, if it's like my other Law of Attraction, here it is, you get to reflect on your month. For instance, how do I feel about my progress this month? How did I stay in the flow of allowing and enjoying the journey regardless of the outcome? So you can mindfully write a few things down and how you feel. And it just feels good. It just feels good to, to put things down. I do not fill this out entirely. I'll skip around depending on how I'm feeling. This one I never fill out because I still can't figure it out. I said it in my last video when I was doing the Law of Attraction that is for this coming year too. I really have to... I bet you the answer is in here, in the secrets. So I do need to figure out the harmony thing. Hours of exercise, total expenses, visualization, time spent with family, fun time, how did I make myself feel good, people I learned from and who inspired me. That's a good one. That's really good. What actions can I take to improve? And since we are all pretty much social distancing and we do not have the luxury that we used to have of just going out and meeting people and talking to people, we can always learn and who inspired me, people on YouTube. Because I have been spending a lot of time on YouTube listening to and watching all different kinds of people who are very inspiring. You can put those people down. It doesn't have to be a face-to-face. -face. This one's good. Did I fully enjoy whatever I was doing this month? Was I really here or was I just showing up? How can I be more present? This is a good one to reflect on. I am gonna work on this for the rest of this year, but more so next year because it's a fresh start. So next year, this is gonna be my thing, being more present. I still do the things and I, I still feel like I am present, but sometimes when I'm going to bed at night and I think about my day, I think, did I rush that? Did I really enjoy it? Or did I just know that this part of it had to end? So I just zipped right through it and put the Christmas tree up and didn't truly enjoy. Although that's not an example for me because my children put up the Christmas tree this year. They did a good job. Okay, so here is February and I love these. I love these. These are not in the other planner. So this is see yourself living in abundance and you will attract it. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, so again, it starts off with your notes. It jumps into your month and then you have your weeks and then you reflect on your month. Then you get a lasting page for February and then you start off in March. Here are affirmations to stay peaceful and positive. Those are nice, look at the crystals, beautiful. Let's go to April. You didn't come to face reality. You came to create reality. Abraham Hicks. Nice. I watch her. I watch her on YouTube. I love her. May. Affirmations for self-care and self-love. I am joyful. I am talented. I am intelligent. I am God's masterpiece and all is well. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and see what these say. Albert Einstein, imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. Affirmations to improve relationships. I am in love with my family. I am surrounded with loving, supportive friends. These are so much fun. Whatever the mind of man can conceive, it can achieve. So whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve it. What's good about these, I'm realizing, is when you're writing things down, it gives you a, a pencil board. Affirmations to heal. I am allowing myself to feel the emotions and let go. Look at the hearts. Oh, this one's beautiful. John Asaroff. If you're interested, you will do what is convenient. If you're committed, you'll do whatever it takes. November, affirmations to success. I am persistent and disciplined. I am bigger than any obstacle. And here is December's. Oh, I love the stars. In my craft room, I'm going to do a video on it soon. I'd like to do it for the first of the new year. And I got these boxes from Target and they are pink, like little canvas totes that go inside shelving. And this reminds me of it. Affirmations to attract wealth. I am successful in everything I do. I am an excellent money manager. I am prosperous in every way. So here is December's. There's your ideas and notes. There is your monthly. Here are your weeklies. 
and here is your reflection on your month for December. And then when this is over, you have two sheets of paper and then you get to reflect on your year. This is really exciting. This is celebrate my top 10 achievements this year. I made my bed and I took down the Christmas tree. What did I learn this year? What were my five happiest empowering moments? What am I most grateful for this year? What events, books, or movies impacted me the most? Design your next year. What is my most important goal for next year? What books, seminars, or online courses do I want to learn from? I am so excited. I know this COVID is going to be over soon. I know that things are going to soon get back to just back to normal. And so when we think about these things, we don't have to think about, do we need to stay in more or, you know, what's closed? Where can we go? Hopefully everything this coming year is going to be slipping back into normalcy. That's what I am hoping. So then you have lots of free pages. Yay. I love free pages. And with the spiral, you can actually tear them out. And then the last page is the map, which I love. Top 20 places I love to visit. Isn't this map beautiful? And then here it zeroes in a little bit more. Okay. This is a little envelope. You can keep little stickers and things. I want to thank you so much for joining me at Sugar Hiccups. I had so much fun going through this planner and sharing this with you. Thank you again so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.